Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adult Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man who wants you to leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts, Bill! Hi, everyone. That's true. And please do it quickly, or else Paul will hurt me. <laughs> Emotionally. Yeah, if you... Oh, yeah. What, actually, what I'm interested in, in knowing is, if you listen to this podcast, how did you hear about it? Where did you first find out about it? Because oh. it seems like it's tricky to get new people to listen to podcasts because you have to basically be searching for a podcast specifically. Like if you're on TikTok, you're not going to be like, oh, well, I'm a, I'm looking at TikToks. <laughs> I also want to listen to a podcast. Right. So uh, leave us a five star review on Apple Podcasts. That'll help more people find the show. And then on our social media, whether it's TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, uh, I guess that's all of them. Uh, leave us a message. Let us know how you found our podcast, whether you were just searching podcasts on Google, searching on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pod, Podbean, wherever, um, or if you found us on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Let us know because I'm really curious how to uh, get more people to listen to the podcast. So yeah. that's your that's your assignment for this week if you choose to accept it. And then maybe we'll also get some Hasbro items <laughs> yes, to review. That is the- goal the more people that listen the higher the uh, potential for hasbro to send us free stuff and really at the end of the day that is the goal of this podcast is to get free stuff specifically from hasbro but anyone that wants to send us free stuff please please do um (laughs) well we can talk about that right off the start um some new gi joes revealed this week the big the big reveal i think uh everyone would agree Sergeant Slaughter, we knew it was coming. We got to see it for the first time. Um, very cool. Not a con exclusive. There was some confusion there. He's being released around the time of San Diego Comic Con, but he's not a con exclusive. Yeah. He comes with his own action figure, which is a trend. As of late, <laughs> a lot of action figures are coming with their own action figures, which I support 100%. Um, yes. Carded action figure, too, which means that uh hasbro can do their own line of mini brands if they want so we've been talking about that in the past if they so choose to accept that challenge sure yeah this shows that they can do it so why not make that its own line um they hasbro showed off some other gi joes anything jump out at you since you are more of the classified collector more more into it so i'm they were all digital renders, it seemed like. So it's Yojo June, everybody. Yo Second year in a row. Yo! Uh, one of the big things big things of contention is the fact that we're in the middle of the year, and yeah. there has been no new product on the store on shelves. shelves. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Where'd and yet they, Where'd it go? I don't know. I have no yeah. idea. So we're still, we're still getting digital renders. Um, a lot of repaints. So... Mm-hmm. We got Bazooka in his regular his regular uh, fatigues, yeah. not the Tiger Force uh, mm-hmm. colors that he has. We have another bat, but it's the Crimson Bat to go with mm-hmm. the Crimson Guard, and we also got a another a barbecue, but he's under Sarge's Marauders colors. So not. Nothing like super new. Nothing, nothing crazy. Um, they had a they had a pipeline reveal, which is something they use in Star Wars to say, right? We don't we don't have anything official to show you, but this is what we're going to this eventually, coming. ultimately yeah. make. Yeah, so not super exciting. Remember, <laughs> nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> not they did another. Um, they, so, yeah, they did another Transformer uh, crossover. Yeah, that was what I want to talk about. So, yeah. what is the name of the vehicle? Oh my God, you had to ask the me. A, the AEW or something. What is it? Like ATV or a, a something? It's something. It's letters. Yeah. And it I'm turns sorry. into Bumblebee. It turns into Bumblebee. And it comes with a, a three and three quarter Joe. Striker, I think it is. I know that much. I can't, oh, here it is. Yeah, three days ago. They're also releasing just the standard version of this vehicle in toy form, which I think is kind of interesting. Because this is what the Transformer crossover is like 70 bucks or something because you get 
the Transformer N, the, the Strike Fighter. Yeah. What is? Here we go. G.I. Joe, let's roll out for Yojo June. We're bringing you the next G.I. Joe X Transformers mashup. G.I. Joe and the Autobots are teaming up to stop Cobra and the Decepticon. Stalker teams up with Bumblebee disguised as an A.W.E. So A.W. Oh. I was very close with that. <laughs> I just had the letters jumbled around. Wow. So Striker is a O-ring figure. Are they actually making these with O-rings? Like they're gonna. I think gonna they. Break, I think like, they are. O-rings. Yeah. Ten years from now, they're gonna rot out to put new O-rings. I. I know exactly. That's you would think the technology has advanced past rubber yes. gasket rings in there. Um, this is fine if people are into this. It's sort of like I guess you know I liked GI Joe. I liked Transformers growing up. Um, so I probably would have been super into this. So if you're in, yeah. if you're super into both of those lines, maybe this is a big deal. Um, I am interested to see how far this goes. Like if they do some of the larger GI Joe vehicles as oh, as uh, Transformers, like the uh, what's the aircraft carrier that the everyone flag. talks about? The US. Yeah, if they flag. do the flag and turn that into a Transformer, I would be interested. That'd be something. Let's has has uh, fun has lab fun that I want to see. I wanted to see the scale of it, even if it fails. <laughs> Speaking of HasLab, uh, what, what, do they have like a word for their funding? HasLab funding? I don't think so. No, that's just HasLab. Uh, yeah. HasLab, I guess, is like their Kickstarter. They gave us an update this week because, it, or last week, if you're watching this, for the Proton Pack from the Ghostbusters Afterlife because it was Ghostbusters Day. Um, yes. What is Ghostbusters Day? What what is is that the day the movie came out in theaters originally? I think that's yeah. I think that's it. I don't think it falls yeah. under the line of like Alien Day that is on you know April April twenty sixth because it's the LV. letters look like the word yeah. or like Mario. Well, no, day the planet the planet the is LV four twenty six, and then right, May the fourth, the... and then yeah, Mario it's... Day. That's that's the this one, one that looks actually like that. corresponds to a date. Right, because there are no, there are not enough letters that would look like ghost or something. No. Yeah, right. So anyway, they they had a few announcements. One being some updated uh, specs and photos of the proton pack. There's some metal pieces. Um, yes, you're going to be able to control the proton pack from the wand, not turn it on, but once it's on, you can you can you trigger some sounds from the. Uh, Neutrina, neutrino. What is what? I always say it wrong. I always say, say wrong. neutrono. Neutrina. Neutrono. Neutrona. Neutrono. Neutrona. Neutron. Oh, uh, neutrona. Uh, you neutrona. say neutrono. I say neutrona. Whatever. You say banana. I say banana. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that's good. There. There was yep. some question about whether there would be any interactivity between the two pieces, and now we know there will be. Right. Still, on uh, when 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 are we gonna get that toy? When did they say we were gonna get it? Is it Q two of next year? I think it's Q two. It's it's definitely Q2. in twenty twenty three. Well, so yes, it's, yes, we're yes. gonna miss anything big. So any holidays for still, it, but still we're getting on track. We're Next getting holiday. Spengler's. Um, journal diary. but now it's yeah. now it's 32 pages instead of 16 yeah. double double in size yes that's cool i mean it's nice that they, they give you extra stuff because like who really cares <laughs> but it's like <laughs> nice they're like hey let's add more stuff why not right fans really supported this line so we'll, we'll give them a little something back um the i think well they announced that there's officially they're officially working on a sequel to Afterlife, which is nice. Code name Firehouse, which hopefully means that they'll be in the firehouse. Um right. who knows what that will become. They're just starting to write it, so that it could it could never happen. And it's a possibility. Sure. But hope there's some there's some traction, there's some forward momentum there. It seems uh, like there's a lot ex- coming out. Yeah, the, in theory, there's a lot coming up. The thing that I am most excited about is the potential for a new cartoon on Netflix. Yes. Now, I wasn't I it wasn't clear if this is going to be a series or like an animated movie. I, I think I saw somebody describe it as an animated movie, which is fine. I, obviously, I would prefer, and I think you would as well, more of a real Ghostbusters series kind of thing. But I guess you okay. take what you can get. I would prefer that this subvert my expectations and then... Oh. I just wind up being disappointed and <laughs> so you want ask for you, it to be erased 
you think it, it it's too much to ask to get the reincarnation of the real Ghostbusters? That would be something. Well, there's supposed to be two cartoons, correct? They're doing the whole I don't know. Masters I of don't the know. Universe. So I think there's there's. Well, we're just talking about one Ghostbusters cartoon. right now. No, I know, but you know how Masters of the Universe had like a Netflix cartoon, and then it had another Netflix cartoon. Oh, so there's like they a announced, kid version. They of announced it? two different Ghostbuster cartoons, one being on Netflix. Gotcha. That gotcha. you know they're speculating it might be the real Ghostbusters continuation Ooh. or something in that vein, and the Ooh. other one, the other one is completely its own thing. Like it's not gotcha. attached to the current Ghostbusters universe whatsoever. I would love for it to be a continuation of the real Ghostbusters, but like mixed with the after afterlife world. So okay. like you know. Egon can be dead, but maybe he shows up as a ghost. I don't know. And yeah. then the guys are there, but they're old, but they look like the real Ghostbusters. And then you can have the kids like that. I think there's just so much potential for that to be a fun. There's thing. a lot for that, and I think yeah. I think that that is my major thing because I said, oh, a new Ghostbuster. They're working on a Ghostbuster sequel, and I was like, oh, maybe they'll put some ghosts in it this time. <laughs> Unlike, the but movies. then it really got me thinking about the other two movies and they follow the same formula where it's like they battle a ghost at the beginning and then they have a montage and then they fight, then they fight like a non ghost. So Gozer was a Mm -hmm. Sumerian God. And then Vigo, the Carpathian was the spirit of a Carpathian warlord. So it wasn't really like they weren't really battling ghosts, but then I think in my head as a kid, they were always fighting ghosts because of the real ghostbusters. So right. There was always plenty yeah. of ghosts. There are plenty of ghosts, yeah. So I would love to see a cartoon continuation with the kids and the older the older uh grandparents, adults, originals, whatever. The original, the OGs, yeah. Yes. I think that I think it's it's such a layup that I bet they'll screw it up somehow. Oh sure. <laughs> like it's like it's so it's right there. It's just it's it's low hanging fruit. But yeah. someone's gonna be like, you know what? I have an even better idea. Right there, <laughs> it's all anime, um, <laughs> fast moving, flashy. They're not ghosts. They're more like Pokemon. You have to collect them. Yeah, you got to collect them all. It's basically yes. Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they're ghosts. But they're not ghosts. Yeah, oh that's my what the gosh. kids want. Let's take yeah. the the biggest failed cartoons of the last five years and just oh. add, give them proton. But the proton packs don't even look like proton packs. It's more like spiritual, yeah. like beast machines. Oh yes, that's what like that's have what to unlock. Get. Unlock yeah. there. Unlock their your stream. inner ghost. Best unlock my proton so, stream. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, cartoons take so long to make, so it'll be they five do. years before we even have to worry <laughs> worry about any of this. <laughs> But that's fine. The other um, notable from Ghostbuster Day is that we we they were when they were displaying the proton pack, they had the 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 wand attached, and we saw the orange tip for the first time. At least oh. we saw a orange tip. I don't know if this is what it's going to be, but it it looks more like a covering. Not that they changed the color of the actual tip, but they put yeah. like a like a super soaker orange tip over it. Which I think is best case scenario. Hasbro oh, sure. covers their asses by saying we put an orange tip on it, but you can just literally just take it off. Like it's no just big pop deal. Pop it right. off like a like a, right. like a soda bottle. Exactly. Yeah. So that would be best case scenario. Um, hopefully that is the case, and it's not that it's molded in orange and you can't you can't just take it off because right. it's so stupid. It's the stupidest it thing. Is. It looks so stupid. You know, well, we don't walk around with that on there. No, That's right. of course we already not. Have ours. Yes. We're not. Um, continuing, well, well, very quickly because you mentioned He Man, it was announced that uh, Kevin Smith is working on a follow up to the Netflix He Man, the adult one. Mm-hmm. Um, all they have is the te- they have nothing. They just have a teaser image that says yeah. he's working on it, and that takes forever. He takes forever, right? I mean, I remember they announced this set. This set, how many years ago? So many years ago. Oh, a while. So, yeah. At this well, point. if you like He Man, you know you're. You, it's gonna be a while, but so it's interesting what, that is that world Masters is of continue. the Universe Revolution. I think they. What was the last one? Revelation. Revelation. That's not confusing. <laughs> Let's just pick words. That, Revolution. That, that sound the same in your head. It spells Masters the same. Masters of except, the Universe Realization. What is this wordle? It's like change one <laughs> yeah. letter. There you yes. go. That's what I want. Resolution. 
Resi- yeah, all the yeah. We'll just keep what? it going. Yeah. It's like oh, the Spider-Man franchise. Every subtitle has to have a whole minute somehow. Oh sure. Did you see that they are re-releasing Far From Home or No Way Home in theaters with added stuff? Like that's the, no. the sub subtitle. It's like with more stuff. Oh because wow. they okay. they wanna Sony does wants to pass the two billion dollar mark and they're a hundred million dollars away from it or something. Oh. So it's gonna be back in theaters, added scene, more Spider Mans than ever before. That see that just that always I always dislike it when they add that onto the gross mm-hmm. Right for the it's movie when they re- it's like it's not like it's fair. It's not that it doesn't, it doesn't count. count. No, it doesn't Can't count. Can't do it that way. Whatever. Just just like if it matters so much to you, just just have somebody go buy a ticket for a hundred million dollars. Oh sure, yeah. Make it a write off. It's like it's just that would mean just as much. Jeff Bezos give us a hundred million dollars. Put Spider Man <laughs> yeah, on that the money side of his rocket the next time he goes up there. There you go. Elon's out there making some crazy decisions. This this is this would be fine for him. Yes. Um, in in the vein of. Um, cartoons from the 80s and 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there is a video game coming out that everyone seems to be excited about for some reason (laughs) I'm not sure why people are so excited (laughs) about this Shredder's Revenge it is a throwback to the side scrolling Turtles in Time the Turtle Arcade which were great at the time Um, so this is a this is in that style but there's going to be new artwork new characters you can play as casey jones yeah um so the game itself (laughs) you okay there yes something fell the game itself because it's it's retro in its artwork and its style uh it like what you you're not gonna pay a lot of money for this like the game you'd hope not it seems like it seems like somebody and i think it's gonna be available through like the download services like you, you need to buy it so um, the people behind this game, in you know, their ultimate wisdom, decided to create bundles of stuff so that not only do you have to buy the game, if you want different stuff, you have to buy it for different systems. So there's one for the Nintendo Switch, there's one for the PC, there's one for Xbox, there's one for PlayStation, and they mm-hmm. all come with different stuff. One of them, I'm not even going to bother looking them up because who cares but one of them yeah. comes with a variation of the playmate shredder from that original turtles line but he's he's more gray than the original figure like his helmet is gray like oh. things they've done in the past his weapons are gray that bundle i think is like i want to say at least 100 bucks if not more because of all the stuff like you're not even really paying Stuff. for the game at that point. You're paying for these exclusive things. Right. So if you're a big turtle collector, you might want to get those. They but do I feel that like with a are, lot of rollouts. I feel like these so. are items that are going to end up in a future loot crate or something. Like they're going to oh, be sold off because people aren't going to buy all of them. Right. No, that's yeah, true. Yeah. They do that with a lot of stuff. Like they'll have they'll have like a bundle version. Like mm-hmm. Uncharted does something. They did something with a Nathan Drake uh, statue. Right. You could buy mm-hmm. like you buy the base game, but then you could spend one hundred and twenty dollars, and you get all this additional stuff. Star Wars again is big in doing this. Yeah, it's a good well. way to 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 help sales of your game yeah. because video games are big business. So of it looks good. It reflects well on your game because it looks like your game made all this money. When in reality, people are probably paying that for the stuff if they want well the retro stuff. style retro style gaming is is big now a yeah. days mm-hmm. it's uh and i know they're releasing all the old turtles in like an anthology set as well i think that is part of this deal oh really i think i think, I think that is the whole like sure like it's like you get this new new ish game but i think yeah. you do get a library a catalog of the older games oh let me see okay let me see if i can find because there's just so much <laughs> there's, there's there's so many different things but yeah i saw so somewhere that they they've censored april o'neill a little bit in this game yeah they they gave her a reduction <laughs> seems yeah. like which uh and they zipped her up a little bit more it seems oh did they they did they yeah. made sure she was up to the neck yeah somebody posted that 
and they seem to be upset because it's like I want my <laughs> I want my cartoon boobies. <laughs> I yeah, like my right? cartoon boobies the way I like my coffee. <laughs> I mean, I don't bold. know, like bold, bold, and and <laughs> I don't know. Coffee's um, bold. Coffee is bold. Yeah, I'm not a big coffee guy, so I was I can't no, think no, of an analogy. Off that. My favorite joke for that is like I like my women like I like my coffee ground up and. <laughs> <laughs> in a it's can terrifying. it is terrifying. It's terrifying it subverts your expectations because you wouldn't oh. think that your preference for a woman is to be ground up in, in a can but then no, they're saying you, that comparing what it, are you dexter jeez i like my women like i like my coffee with caramel in a mcdonald's cup mm, yes. delicious 17 different ingredients they have a lot of ingredients in those? oh if you go to like a starbucks no i like the mcdonald's frappe that's that oh, is my favorite. Frappe. I don't like coffee. Coffee. I need it to be a frap. No. And McDonald's does the uh, frap coffee. The frappe there is the is the best, and it's the cheapest because you can get it for free if you have the app. Because that's one of the sure. rewards you can get. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Something about Shredder's you looking, Revenge. You were going to be looking into what is bundled with Shredder's Revenge if there were more yeah. vintage games attached to it. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it comes with all of the. Uh, oh, stuff. okay, good. All of like the past games or so, a lot so of. So when them. it when it doesn't, everyone's gonna be like, "Well, the Reluctant Adult podcast said it did." Yeah, I oh. dare you. I dare you to say that. <laughs> I dare you to listen this far into this podcast and say that. I don't even know how games work anymore. You, is it a digital download? They send you. Is there like an actual physical CD you put in your machine? No, it works the same way. Like if you buy a, buy a or rent a rent something on amazon but isn't there a digital can't you download the game like at midnight and then be the first to play it realistically yeah yeah so you don't need the physical is that what you're saying there's no physical physical copy of it right you can get on steam but is there that's what you're buying in this bundle you're getting the physical copy you're getting the physical physical copy sure because there's like a vhs box something oh wow I don't know. There's too much to know, and I care not at all. So, if you're you're not here, nobody's here for their video game news. So go 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 look at look at X Play or whatever. What's yeah. the what's the magazine they used to have for video games? There's like Nintendo Power, and there's Game something. I don't know. Game like spot? the cover would always be cool. It would be like a like a Mad Magazine for video games. I don't know. Is it GameSpot? Kind of. Spa, video game, magazine. Let's see. Now I'm curious. Game Informer, Electric Gaming, Mag- there was like a main one, I thought. I don't know. It must not exist anymore because that's not like the first thing. No. Video game magazine history. All right, here's a list of video game magazines. It's got to be here. <sighs> oh, there's a lot of magazines. I'm on the next war crash you hey dirt see you later electric gaming month maybe cheat force fun game informer game now game station games game world game cast it's gonna bother me I like I'm sure as soon as I see it it'll jump out at me if anybody knows what I'm talking about Nobody knows what you're talking about. There was like a main video game magazine. I can't find it. How annoying. And it wasn't Game Informer? I mean, it might have been, but that doesn't. I feel like if I saw it, it would just. My brain would be like, that. That. Let's play, Power Play, Sega Magazine, Sinclair. Oh my god. Oh my god! Super pro. Oh, something pro, right? Game, game, game pro. Yes, game pro. I didn't even see that on the list, but that's what it is. Game pro was an American multi-platform video game magazine company published. Da 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 da. da. Final issue, two thousand eleven. All right, so there you go. First issue, eighty nine. Thirty three years ago. We did it, Bill. We figured it out. It was all you, 100%. Yeah, all the covers have, like, really fun images of 
like you know like back then like sonic and mario and Star Fox, like these were cool right cool things like i probably drew them oh side note i got the i got the family got an ipad so that when we fly to massachusetts the kid has something to do um but my wife got me the apple pencil so that i could like get this procreate app which is only 10 bucks but let you draw on it it's amazing it's amazing it's like i always liked to draw but i i didn't it like was too much work <laughs> like erasing yeah. or was, like it just i like I, I just couldn't do it but this is so amazing like you can change the brush type you can tr- like make it more transparent so you can do like a like a layer under it to get your all your shapes and everything oh my god uh-huh. if i had this this tool when i was a child i would probably be like an animator today because it's so much fun it's so easy it's like so fluid oh my god it's the greatest thing ever well that's good i'm proud of you so if you're interested in drawing Get yourself an iPad. Get yourself an, a pencil. Mm. One of these Apple pencils, not a real pencil. Yeah, please don't draw on your iPad with like a lead pencil. That will not do anything. <laughs> I, I mean, it might work because you're using your finger otherwise. Yeah. But I don't. It'll probably scratch it up. Oh look. Okay. So in my search for Game Pro, I came on Game Pro action figure set. This is an old listing from Entertainment Earth, but Series One. Had Sonic from Sonic Adventure 2 and two ski ski boarders. What's it called? Snowboarders from SS Tricky. SS Tricky X. Oh. So that shows you how old this is. When the hell did this come out? Probably in 2011. Huh. Okay. Speaking of anniversaries, happy 40th to E.T., the extraterrestrial. Terrestrial. Happy 40th. So he came out, that movie came out before we did, before we were born, which it makes did. me feel a little bit better about never having seen it until, I've never seen it all the way through. Oh, wow. Um, I, I've r- ridden, I've rode the ride at Universal many times. It's one of my, sure. it's probably my favorite cue for a ride where you walk through the forest and it smells nice. Yeah. That's my favorite cue. I hope that ride stays forever, even though I probably am not getting, never going back to Universal. Um... But I never, I've never seen the movie all the way through. I have seen Mac and Me all the way through many times. I love Mac and Me. That's probably Got why it. I like Reese's Pieces more than M and M's. No, that's the reverse, right? It's the reverse. Reese's Pieces were in were in ET, right? Okay, so I have no excuse then. No, no. but I, I did, I tried to watch it because it was like on Netflix for the first time like a few years ago, yeah. and it's it's pretty boring. I couldn't couldn't get through it. <laughs> No, I remember and for the thirtieth when they when they decided yeah. to, was it the thirtieth? It couldn't have been the thirtieth. It had to have been before that, where they ago. where they scrubbed the guns. Oh, they put flashlights in it. Yeah, they put flashlights in all the so, agents. So far ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. I remember that. And they updated they updated E. T. because of course he was a puppet in the eighties. But in this they sure. they went back in and they digitally updated him a little bit. I think he could blink. Could do all sorts of fun, different ET stuff a little bit more naturally. So. I obviously am a, a, a fan of puppets, so usually, yeah. normally, I I I err on the side of puppets. Um, but obviously, Yoda <laughs> in Episode <laughs> One was awful as a puppet. He was, so that was fine. So probably ET is fine and changing him. I over. think I haven't seen ET. I think in ten years, the last time I saw mm-hmm. it, I. I was at a baby shower for my for my sister in law, and I wasn't feeling well. But because of that, everybody was just you know mingling, and they had the TV on, and they had ET on. I got very emotional yeah. with ET. I don't know what came over with me. I was just very emotional watching watching ET, watching him die, and mm. then then come back. Spoiler alert. But. There was a commercial either last year or the year before, I think during the Super Bowl, for I don't know, cable, something like that. Anything, internet. sure, yeah. It was so it was like present day and um, the kid. What's the kid's name in the movie? Elliot. Elliot. Elliot is grown up because it's real time. Elliot has a family, and ET comes back and he spends the day with Elliot and his family, and yeah. I, I it was emotional and everybody who yeah. saw it was like yeah that was really <laughs> really emotional because it's like this is sort of like you know you get to 
relive your childhood for a day. Right. Like there's just a lot, a lot of packed in, a lot of feelings packed into movies from from when you were a kid. It's like finding out but, Billy's still hanging out with Gizmo, and he's got his. Oh uh, yeah, his that wasn't goth, as emotional. But it was I no. did enjoy that quite a bit. I wish there, I right. wish there was more to that. That figure should be coming out any day now. It was supposed to be May. <laughs> they're over, they're June. overdue at this point, right? Haven't heard a thing about it. I have the set pre-ordered from Entertainment Earth. I would like those. Yeah, I haven't heard any updates on those. Um, anyways, I should pre-order so ET, those so I can get my Black Series figure for free. Oh, yeah. If you spend how how much you get a free Black Series figure? On 75 American and you get a free free Rose Tico. <laughs> yeah, a free whatever it the six mystery. inch black series. It is. It is a six inch black series figure yeah, of their choice, bad. but they don't they don't tell you what it is. It used to be you get like a free mouse pad, so a figure is much better. It is. It's funny because they probably just can write that off. Like that's just it's like we've lost we lost the twenty five dollars. We just strike that from our taxes. We just want year. the space back in our warehouse. Probably, yeah. That's more the, valuable to us than the stupid figure at this point. So E.T. I found boring, but it's one of those situations where every movie that came after it copied what was great about it. So it's like yep. by the time I saw it, it just seemed like any other movie. But it was the oh, first, to do, first to do a lot of this. Um, yep. So, I, I, you know, it's not the time. You're not going to appreciate it having seen it 40 years later if it's, it's the first time you're seeing it. Did you so ever see Flight of the Navigator? Yes, I love Flight of the Navigator. That's a good one. Yeah. The other movie that i love about aliens is batteries not included oh sure with a little it's like the robot from kenobi the little hamburger yes, shaped robot and like right. they they own it's a restaurant and they're always on the griddle <laughs> and they get flipped yeah. like he's a hamburger i love that i don't even remember how that resolves itself like was that were those were just like a race of aliens that were robots and then they go back i think that to was the case from. yeah oh i loved it I love it. I always, I like would try to make those out of whatever building blocks that they still like constructs or whatever we had back then. Yeah. Ah, memories. Um, yeah. So ET, they're doing NECA. I think is putting out a bunch of figures for ET. There's pops coming out. There's a fun oh, wow. one. Okay. Where he's at ET's in the bike and they're riding or, you know, he's in the basket of the bike and they're riding and the moon, the full moon is behind them. Like that classic yeah. shot. Or I guess that's more like the logo, like the Amblin yeah. Entertainment logo. The, the moon glows but in the dark. There is a version that is glow in the dark. It might actually yeah. even be an Entertainment Earth exclusive, because they love they love their glow in the dark exclusives. Let me see ET Pop real quick. Let's see ET yeah, there Pop. Is. Yep, there is glow in the dark coming. Only thirty bucks coming October, just in time for nothing. Um. I do like my favorite thing with pops is where you have a character that's in scale because obviously when they do the pops of ET he's the same size as any other pops but in this one he's small because he's gotten the fit in the little basket on the front right. of Elliot's bike. Oh, that's so fun. If I was gonna get one, I'd probably get that one because that's fun. Um, but it, I the it's like the ET ride is the only thing I care about at Universal. I don't actually care about the movie, which I mentioned. Um, let's see. So, do you have the the restaurant Sonic up uh, up your part of the woods? We do, but they're very they're very tough to come by and drive to. So few and far between. Few and far between. Um, they I have one literally down the street from my house. They they do some unique things like they have like ices. Um, then they put nerds in them, which is, yep. it was very, it's just like extra sugar, but it's actually pretty good. They do they have a kids meal, the wacky pack, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, not the whack pack, which is the 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 group of Howard Stern people. <laughs> this is different. <laughs> Unrelated. Beetlejuice. Yeah, Baba Booey. Yeah, Baba you get a little Booey, Baba Booey. Beetlejuice <laughs> plushie in your kids meal. Um, <laughs> so they they do have kids meal, but it's not it's not anything you ever hear about except uh, on the inst- the uh, tw- the TikTok for mini brands. They unveiled that they're gonna do a set for the Sonic kids kids meal. So each kids meal is going to come with this set that includes one one of like the the items, and then you also get a miniature version of the bag the thing comes in, and right. it also said like a mint, like a candy mint that smells. So you get you get like technically three things, but it's really like That's one a lot. one unique thing. Wow! But it's kind of cool. Like the things you get, they have like the cup, which is styrofoam in real life. So I don't know if the cup will be styrofoam or plastic that looks like styrofoam. Um, and then it looks like there's a little, little pack of corn dogs and there's a gold version that's a chase. 
then there's yeah. the little the like contain because it's like a it's a car hop technically like you can park your car and they'll put the put the tray right. on your window like the old place so they have the tray that they put on your window with the four drink holder things um so this is i'm very excited about this they do two dollar whack packs wacky packs on wednesdays so if that holds true i'm i'm probably gonna go I'm like just give me 10 i just give me 10 of these here's a 20 give give me them all because i would like <laughs> i would like i think there's like 18 in total i think on the bag it actually it's numbered so you can tell yeah. what what set it is so you can uh, you can trade them without opening them if you want i'm very excited for you i yeah i love it have you have you got a kids meal or a happy meal from McDonald's during the new promotion? No, I don't even it's know what the new Buzz promotion Lightyear. is. Buzz oh. Lightyear, Lightyear, and there are, it's like it's sort of like the Batman Returns where they're in the vehicle but their little head pops out. Oh, from back in the day. So you got you have at least two versions of Buzz because my kid got one yesterday. And then he got one today, and it, at first we thought it was the same, but the vehicle is slightly different. Like it has a, like a colored nose, and then the, the thrusters are a color. Yeah. And like the sculpt is slightly different, so maybe Buzz has different vehicles that he drives. Oh, exciting! In the movie, yeah. To get so that's myself fun. down to McDonald's. Get on down there, pick them up. If you're excited oh, okay. for Buzz, I'm very excited. Got good What's reviews. The buzz? the buzz is good for Lightyear. The buzz on Lightyear, yeah. People, people are liking it. They had the premiere the other night, the red carpet premiere. Um, a, a movie that came out this week that the buzz is not quite so good about is uh, Jurassic World Dominion, which I saw today. And yeah. I asked you if you were going to see it, and you said not yet. So I don't want to spoil too much for you. Thank you. So I'll just tell you about my movie going experience. Um, we, we get there. We're watching the movie in about mm, 20 minutes in. The power to the mall where the theater is goes out because there's a storm because oh. it's Florida. So we're sitting there. Someone comes out and says, hey, you know, don't leave if you want, because we're going to get this going again. It's going to be fine. So we're like, OK, <laughs> not loving the movie so far. So we're like, all right. Eventually, something happens. The lights kick on a little bit and the audio keeps playing. So for about 10 minutes, we could hear the movie, but we couldn't see it, which is so much worse <laughs> because it's like you're being spoiled, but you're not seeing the part yeah. of the dinosaur CGI movie. Like, who cares about the audio? I just want to see it. Right. So I was getting a little like antsy and I'm like, I already don't like this movie. I'm I'm it's being spoiled for me. <laughs> Eventually. The uh, the picture comes back, but now we're like 10, 15 minutes later in the movie, and there's like now we're into fisticuffs and everybody's running, doing crazy jumps and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I guess this is fine. We'll just keep watching from here. We can figure out. Like there was definitely a part where Jeff Goldblum came in because you could hear him, but like couldn't see him. So it's like ah, that was probably a good part, but you missed it. It stops again. It rewinds back to before it stopped. <laughs> so we have to sit through that entire part again that we couldn't oh, no. see. That we could... So, like, I thought they would just keep going because the movies are obviously are, like, there's not a lot of downtime between each movie. So I was surprised right. that they did rewind it because it was like, well, we got to get the next. We don't want to prolong the next showing and so on and so on. Um, but I guess this was probably the best they could do. They rewound it. So we sat through it. So we just stayed like we were definitely thinking about leaving at different points. Um, but it, 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 I'm glad we stayed because it was worth seeing. It definitely, it definitely wasn't, if this is like the last Jurassic movie ever, it definitely wasn't worth, it wasn't good enough to be the last one ever. It obviously will not be the last one ever. The whole Jurassic world series, I think, has progressively gotten worse with each chapter. The first one was fine. It was a new take yeah. on on the series. You followed the kids. I thought there was enough there. You had the ball <laughs> that they rode in. There was enough right. stuff to make it worthwhile. The second one, it it felt like it was just a bridge to the next movie. Like they got all the dinosaurs to land. They had the ridiculous auction where the dinosaurs sold for like pennies. It like made no sense <laughs> that they were selling for as cheap as they were. Right. Um 
But then it just, like, it didn't really resolve itself in any satisfying way. And it introduced the clone girl, which is just a totally unnecessary addition to the series. Um, but, you know, it introduced a lot of stuff, but it didn't have any, like, meat to it. And it seemed like it was just leading to this third one. So now it's like, okay, dinosaurs are in civilization. People have to interact with them. Now all the crazy things in your head that you thought could happen can finally happen. Let's go. Let's yep. make it happen. This movie is all about locust. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Just, not dinosaur is definitely not the main character in this movie. So it's locusts. It's all about That's locusts. Odd. <laughs> I wanted it to be about dinosaurs getting out loans for boats. Yeah. To get I back know. to the island. That would have been. What do you mean? I'm not approved. I'm not approved for this boat loan, sir. Your your arms can't even reach the pen. All right, so no no more spoilers for that. But I do want to talk about okay. dinosaurs in general because someone posted an interesting theory that makes a lot of sense. And who the hell knows? Because you know everything we know about dinosaurs is basically made up. Like we're just yeah. you know we're just making stuff up. There's no way to know until we invent time travel, which some suggest already exists. But whatever, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Someone has this theory that dinosaurs, because they were so heavy, it seems unlikely that they could just walk on land because they're so heavy. Like they're they like gravity would crush them. They or their bones wouldn't could not support their weight. So the yeah. theory is that they they were mostly submerged in water. Now, if you watch that that Apple TV dinosaur show, the very first thing in the very first episode shows that the T Rex could swim, which is right. not something that I ever thought about. And now no, we progress about that. Yeah, I was like, no way. But he, they show. I mean, who knows if, where they're getting that information from? What new <laughs> right. thing brought them to that? Because now all of a sudden we have feathered dinosaurs. So why would you have feathers if you're in water? But it does make sense that that they would need the buoyancy of the water to support their 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 mass. Um, and also, the fact that we find so many footprints, it does make sense that they're stepping in um, ground that is submerged in water because it leaves a nicer print. Rather, if they were just walking on sand, you wouldn't find prints. They would just sure. immediately disappear. So it does actually make sense. But then the, how does that how does that connect to everything else we thought we knew about dinosaurs who knows none of it really matters like if we if we were able to go back in time and be like oh okay so they all wore purple tutus and had horns like a unicorn oh okay like it doesn't change anything about today no. it's just like <laughs> somebody has the job of, of of coming up with a new theory about dinosaurs every year and this is this is the current one that they were mostly submerged in water but that's fine that's Everyone loves dinosaurs. Wacky. I feel like they're making dinosaurs a little less cool. Like the feathers aren't doing them any favors. <laughs> right. So like I think we probably lived during the height of coolness with dinosaurs where it was like, you know how they design a car? They have like a focus group and they find out what the cool stuff are. Someone had a focus group of dinosaurs and they're like, what What do you, would make a dinosaur really cool? What would make you want to buy a lunchbox with a dinosaur on it? Feathers? No? All right, get those out of here. Scales it is. Scales, and he's got six horns. Yeah, six horns. He's got that little claw on his foot. You can tap, tick, 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 tick. That's yep. scary. Let's do that. And then the spiky He's got tail. little arms. Yeah, that's fine. He doesn't. Need, he's his face is so scary. He doesn't need arms. So just make yeah. him tiny like that. That's fine. We're not even worried about that. <laughs> Don't look at the arms. Look at the face. Someone had a good point where it's like the design of the dinosaur is based entirely on the bones left behind. But like, are there any parts of the human body that you wouldn't find a bone for, but we still have it? <laughs> it's like, maybe they did have something hanging off of there. It just didn't have a bone. Like maybe it was like a our tentacle. Nose or our ears. Right. Yeah, exactly. So all the, all it's all just cartilage. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, maybe they did have things, but there's just no maybe bones. There was so a, no maybe there was like a fleshy know. horn on the top of each one of their heads. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe they had a little mm -hmm. eye sticking up there so they could see above. Oh, yeah. Right. Who knows? Nobody like knows. An like an angler fish. Exactly. Cause they yeah. Because they're submerged in water now. Maybe they all glow in the dark. Who knows? Oh. Speaking of dinosaurs, um, I want to tread lightly on this topic because um, we don't have a lot of information. What we do know is that the Saurozoic Warriors are up for pre order on Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, on. 
what's the name of the company making them boss fight studios um boss fight studios.com you can pre-order them very reasonable 29.99 per figures there's four figures they are scheduled to come out in q1 or q2 2023 i love the look of the figures I almost wish they were a little larger. They're six inch scale. It's not clear if like the Brachiosaurus is six inches because he's the tallest or if like they yeah. are six inches. I, I, I almost wish they were bumping up to seven because these just seem like they need to be really meaty figures, but that's fine. If they keep that price low, that's great. Somebody posted a comment saying that there is a, an ongoing lawsuit involving ownership of this concept and that somebody is trying to say they came up with the idea so they're in that person's mind there's question whether these are going to be released unless that lawsuit is settled now (laughs) i want to say i don't know if this is true okay i hope that no one's idea was stolen however to say that you came up with the idea of anthropomorphic dinosaurs with guns right i had that idea too (laughs) I think yeah. we all had that idea uh, at one point or another. So maybe there's more to it. Maybe like, I don't know. But I, if, if that was all it was, and where if someone said, hey, let's do some dinosaurs on two feet that have some cool guns. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Everyone had that idea. So uh, not to down, not to dismiss if someone has a legitimate claim to these, but I hopefully it's not going to prevent them from being released because I would like to buy them. Or be sent yeah, a sample of them. That would be nice. If someone, anybody wants to send us a sample of anything, I don't care. I just want <laughs> something to show up on my doorstep <laughs> that nobody else has. And then I can say, hey, look what I got. Look at yep. this. It's mine. Nobody else's. I'll even send it back. Sometimes they do that. They send out prototypes. Like I know that uh, Toy Galaxy gets stuff. Yeah. Take pictures of it. Send it back. Uh, Dan Larson. Toy Galaxy. Dan, uh, Pixel Dan, who was cosplaying as He-Man again. You sent me a clip of that. Getting his kids involved, kids and wife involved in the act. Love that. Um, yeah. So, uh, Sorozoic Warriors hopefully will not be included in an upcoming Toys That Were Never Released (laughs) Instagram post that 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 we enjoy slash hate. Yeah. Um, What could have been what could but have you're been right. lots of you're right yeah. dinosaurs are in the public domain everybody knows dinosaurs sure. ex- exist it's like yeah. is someone gonna get mad you say oh i got dinosaurs but i want them in business suits i mean i've had that That's idea right. too it's like yeah. just put dinosaurs dinosaurs doing whatever if they want to be wearing you know military armor and and have guns then that's a thing yeah i mean spin the wheel dinosaurs yeah. plus any genre you can think of I mean, exactly. I, I was talking to you about Eek the Cat and that cartoon on Fox. There was, there was like a. It wasn't always Eek the Cat. Sometimes they had that the dinosaur cartoon where the dinosaurs were smart and the cavemen were stupid, and the dinosaurs mm-hmm. had guns and they were like Rambo and stuff. And like I always wanted toys of that. So probably whoever designed that these, at all. I know I can't believe you don't remember that. I was like, I don't. The that was like the main time for Fox Kids, like. Toys R Us was giving wow. out those little like freebie boxes promoting the new fall shows. That was like then. Right. That was it. Oh. Yeah, you, you missed out. I did. Um, so, yeah, dinosaurs. Uh, well, I think we should come up, just to avoid any confusion in the future, I think we should copyright every dinosaur plus genre that exists. Yeah. So you already talked about dinosaurs in business suits. Let's do dinosaurs on each other's shoulders in trench coats because I love that gag. <laughs> dinosaur wrestlers, dinosaurs in space, dinosaur in space. superheroes. So let's get that on the record. Teenage Mutant Ninja Dinosaurs. Looking around. Ghost okay. Dinosaurs Busters. <laughs> Any oh. combination. Either the ghosts are, or the dinosaurs are ghosts, or they're busting zombie, ghosts. That zombie, are dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Zombie, zombie Dinosaurs. Zombie Dinosaurs. Yeah, that's a, yeah. that's a winner right there. There it is. What else, right I, there. What else I got on my desk? He-Man Dinosaurs. I guess that's kind of what these are. Yeah, so... Uh, look for those dinosaurs coming soon. Dinosaurs cosplaying as other dinosaurs. Oh, there you go. There you go. Right? Like with the little, like the little, like string from the cheap Halloween costume yes. pulling on their horns. I yes. love that. Somebody, go. I'm gonna draw those all up and procreate, and we're gonna make some t-shirts. <laughs> I love it. This is how it happens. This is this. We are in the room where it happens. This is the brainstorming session. Perfect. Perfect. Um. So what exactly? 
is Hayden Christensen doing in this Obi Wan series? We know he's uh, back, but yeah, he's, he's not back. in the suit. <laughs> he's so, in that chamber, I guess. Maybe he's that's in that, him. He's in the back to chamber, and yeah. there was a shot of him in I think the second episode. Mm-hmm. Before they get picked up by Freck. oh, where like the halluci- hallucination of him yes. off in the distance. Yes. Yeah. But is he in the Vader suit? Because they showed I, two guys that are. They did. And it wasn't yeah, him. those are those are like stunt doubles or something that's right. going on. But yeah, it's it's again, it's it's the whole how much is Pedro Pascal doing in the Mandalorian? Is he just At least providing he's the, the voice. voice? Is Hayden right, the, he's voice? the voice? And all right, here's no, the question: Hayden's Is not Hayden the voice? Well, okay. Here's the thing. Obviously, we think it's James Earl Jones, but I saw something that says it's AI making it sound like that, and maybe Hayden is is providing the voice, and then they oh, put the really? AI on top of it. But I don't know. Who the hell knows? Disney's not going to tell us. They're going to they're I mean, say, they're gonna say heard, it's Hayden. I heard something similar to that vein, too, that they actually just mixed both. Yeah. I don't know. They got amazing AI. Like, right. They could do whatever. I mean, it sounds fine. It sounds pretty much like it should sound. So who, it sounds better than he did in Rogue One. It. Listen to yeah. listen to him from yeah. Rogue One. It, they they right. just used James Earl Jones. Sounds much older, obviously. Wow. In this one, it's wow. pretty wow. much wow. a carbon copy Darth Vader. Yeah. I was very wow. surprised because I was expecting the the Rogue One style voice. Yeah. So. But yeah, no, exactly. Remains. What is he? What is he doing? What is he doing? And it's possible in the last two episodes that maybe his helmet will get cracked, and we'll see him in there. Oh, um, but you know, for as much as Disney played up, Hayden's back. He's back in the Star Wars universe. Uh, well, I guess that's fine. He's, he's I don't know how you paycheck. feel. Sure, and the fan service, and maybe he'll be yes. involved in more stuff. I mean, there's a season two now, theoretically, so maybe right. they'll work more. I I want to know your opinion on this series because I'm starting to feel like the writing is not good. <laughs> like okay. in this last episode, I feel like it's 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 consistent with the prequels in being pretty bad. <laughs> so <laughs> how do you feel about the Obi Wan series so far? I don't think the writing. I I think I think we always talk about how the writing is too current. Yes. Like they yes. they pull from dialogue and present day saying present day yeah. sayings and things like yeah. that a little too freely. Um, mm-hmm. I haven't obviously. I think Obi Wan is pretty decent. You and McGregor right. very good. I think it's all in the delivery at the end of the day. Yeah. So you know, but I don't know. I don't think it's terrible. I'm not loving. Riva, her her character, what her motives are. I mean, maybe we'll yeah. find out more. I thought very this secret. episode was was very silly because, first of all, the way that they were able to trick the security guard, I thought was ridiculous. Way too easy. And then I thought the whole holding the window from cracking and then drowning them. Yeah, a little too far fetched in in the series about men in space. I thought that was a little silly. Okay, and then you have. Or what's the guy that dies in the snow speeder? D something. <laughs> Wade. Drake. Wade. 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 Now Wade, Wade is no. not a character we know, right? This is a, no. this was our introduction to Wade. Yeah. Clearly, this was meant to be an impactful moment because it was the moment where the path, which was just this trading route for for whatever, <clears throat> yeah, the under underground turned, Jedi. Yeah, the railroad yes. turned yes. into the rebellion. Basically, like this is where it starts. They someone yeah, the seeds you know, of the rebellion the, here. Yeah, she even says like, "Well, I guess you're soldiers now." So right. this was supposed to be a very big moment, and it. Whoosh, I don't think anybody felt that it was. I don't think it my was my well brother executed. said the same thing. He was like, he just yeah. he's like because he's like, is Obi Wan good? And I go, it's decent. And then he comes in the next day, and he's like, Wade. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, Wade. Oh no, he's got some lines. So I think they really they were swinging for the fences, and I just don't think wherever the disconnect was, I don't think they they've been able to hit it. And there are two episodes yeah. left; it could redeem itself. But this is feeling more like a Boba Fett than a uh, Mandalorian to me, which oh, is wow. sad. Yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah. Okay. I'm not like if I'm. It's like I, I'm not. I'm not energized at the end of episode. I'm not like oh, let's get more of this. I'm definitely not like I can't sure. wait to see where this story goes because you kind of know. Yeah. It can't go too far off the rails. The interesting thing that from this episode, the most interesting thing, was the um, 
the as they described as a tomb of Jedi's. Someone threw out the theory that the, maybe those people are not dead; they're just in stasis and having their blood drained, that being fed to the Inquisitors or Vader to like power them. Maybe, okay. who knows? But there was the child, the youngling that was from right. the first scene, but he was there in stasis or dead. So that there's some connection there, but like that should have been a much more like oh shit like moment, and I don't feel like it worked as well as it could have. No, you know. So, like, they really did want it to be very impactful with the youngling, but yeah. they need to give us, they need to give us Jedi that we know. Right. Is, is the bottom line. <laughs> and he's that walking through knows, the hallway Blake, that everybody knows. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, they had the, fir- the first guy that he looks at, he had a little bit in one of the Clone Wars episodes, was the most recognizable character everyone else was just like it could have been a person for all i care it wasn't yeah there was no there was no way to know that they were all jedi if that was in the case it should have had like their name it's a jedi master blah 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 yeah i mean if they had mace windu there and we were like oh my god like mace windu would have been yeah jar jar binks maybe would have been fun right in there they probably just didn't want to waste these jedi these no of course not on this throwaway thing but they they needed to get their point across, and I don't know that they did. And maybe they'll come back to it again. Encase them in amber, so I may use their blood <laughs> later. <laughs> Welcome. That's to exactly Jurassic what the Jedi. tweet was. There was a picture of John Hammond with his cane, with the oh, amber sure. and the mosquito, and this... then the little child. Like exactly. You know, oh picture, no, that kidding! Was that's exactly funny. what it was. That's funny. So that's that's something. Um, we're gonna, to Jurassic we're gonna Jedi. a couple of minutes left because I we're still running on our free platform, so I want to keep it on an hour. The trailer sure. for Black Adam was released this week. This is The Rock as uh, Shazam's villain, right? I don't know a ton mm-hmm. about Black Adam. Uh, the trailer was fine. It, it seemed like pretty pretty consistent superhero film. If you've watched The Boys Season 3, you know that one of the episodes opens up with uh, footage from Dawn of the Seven, which is the satirical superhero movie within the show. Yeah. And this Black Adam trailer just looked so much like the fake movie in, oh, <laughs> in The Boys oh, that I'm like, <laughs> superheroes are just a parody of themselves at this point. Sure. Like, there's just nothing that anybody's willing to do other than The Boys to stand out from anything in the past. And it could be a perfectly serviceable movie, but we've just had so many superhero movies and shows and everything like so quickly that every yeah. idea has just been completely drained. And because these are, this is Warner Brothers or Discovery or whatever you want to call them, and Disney doing the majority of them, you know they're never going to like really push push the, push the envelope or like do anything different. So it's all very similar. It's all very whatever. And it's like, if you like that, that's fine. But it's, it's hard to get excited about anything new because it all looks the same. Big meh. A big meh. Uh, very meh. quickly... I had this thought. I shared it on a wrestling community, and people did seem did not seem to take too too kindly to the thought. So I would share it with you. Um, the Rock is an actor in Hollywood. He's bald because his hair was receding in real life, so he decided to just go bald. Fine, that's his look. When he is in movies, he is not the Rock. He is the character in the movie. I'm not saying that he shouldn't audition for movies. I'm not saying that they shouldn't cast him in movies. But when you cast The Rock in a role that requires him to have long, luxurious hair, I know that The Rock cannot grow hair like that. It's not even that he's going bald. It's that I know what The Rock's hair looked like when it was long, and it looks more like Maui than it does my hair. Like, don't put this Hercules wig on him. You know the movie Hercules? (laughs) Do you remember he was in that? It's like Fabio hair. Don't dress him like that. At the end of... The Jungle Cruise, there's a flashback to him, a younger rock, and he's got these long locks and this beard. It's just so straight. That's not, that doesn't make sense to my brain. This That's man, this the rock. Samoan African American man, is not going to be able to grow hair that looks like that, nor should he. Nor should Fair he enough. be forced to have hair like that. If you're going to give him long hair, give him accurate hair to what he is ridiculous so people were like oh you're like what a stupid thing to be upset about and they're like i'm not upset it's just ridiculous that you can't give this man the hair that he would naturally have in this in this if he was this character like he's this character let him have his hair wow so that's my rant 
All it's, right, I, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> It's so funny I to guess me. So. They're like, oh, we don't, you know, like I make this character anyone. Yeah, but you you chose the rock. You chose a man that has hair that has a little curl to it. At the very least, it's not going to be straight. <laughs> it just is yeah. ridiculous. Well, everybody, I get you. <laughs> Anything else for this big week? No, no, I'm scared now, right, everybody. You should be scared. Make sure your hair is correct. Well, everybody, you know what we say. We don't want to grow up, but I already did. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone.